Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there. Welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily, I'm Aaron Porras, and coming up in today's newscast, Israeli lawmakers already scrambling to get steady footing for the coming elections as the Knesset is set to disperse as soon as tomorrow. Meanwhile, in the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, Israeli Health Minister Nitzan Horowitz attempting to assuage citizens that the same will not happen here. And finally, the Israel Antiquities Authority unveiling one of the oldest known mosques in existence as recently discovered in the Negev Desert. No hope left for the 24th Knesset. Lawmakers across the aisle planning to pass the dispersal bill as soon as possible making the Yeshatid party's Yair Lapid the interim prime minister until elections. And with the campaign season now a practical certainty, the various parties are likewise already drawing lines in the sand and forming new alliances. ILTV's Asaf Nissan reporting. Effective Monday, June 27th, after just one year in power, the coalition and Knesset expected to dissolve and Israel will head back to elections, the fifth vote in fewer than four years. The only thing that could prevent elections is if the opposition can muster a 61-seat majority before the dispersal vote. This is highly unlikely given the time frame, and coalition members' general unwillingness to sit under former Prime Minister Netanyahu, who is currently embroiled in three corruption charges. In fact, a controversial bill to ban criminally indicted defendants from becoming Prime Minister set to hit the floor today for debate, though the seemingly targeted legislation not expected to garner enough support at this time. So meanwhile, with elections looming and eyes on the polls, various party heads looking to join forces or reaffirm political positions. Defense Minister Benny Gantz and Justice Minister Gideon Saar, for example, reportedly talking about joining their parties for a united ticket. This after April's survey suggested that alone, they run the risk of falling beneath the electoral threshold altogether. Now as for the soon-to-be former premier, Ben is still on the face on whether he'll remain in politics at all. But if he chooses to stay, he's refusing to rule out any partnership including with fringe parties or even with rival and former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In fact, Bennett arguing again for as broad a government as possible. השנה הוכיחה שלא טוב להיות תלוי בקצוות, אנחנו צריכים את האמצע. אני רוצה קואליציה מאיתמר בן גביר ועד מנסור עבאס, נשמע לך דמיוני, אולי זה דמיוני. Now joining me for some political analysis is J-Post political correspondent Eliav Brower. Eliav, thank you so much for being with us. Now, how many Israeli voters are malleable? That's to say, how many are voting for their party regardless of the news and previous actions as opposed to the undecideds who might still be swayed? Uh, so that's a good question. Um, a poll on Friday uh, that was published on Friday by, Ma by Marit showed that only 13% um, of Israeli voters are undecided. Um, so th those will be the 13% uh, the that the uh, parties will be fighting over. Um, interestingly though, <clears throat> the uh, opposition parties, uh, voters are actually a lot more confident in their vote than the coalition voters. So almost uh, an average of 75% of the opposition party voters um, are uh, absolutely sure that they're going to be voting for the parties they said they would be voting for in the poll, while only 35% of coalition uh, party voters said that they, they were absolutely certain about their vote. 
So while there are 13 people that are officially undecided, there may still be a lot of more movement uh, between the parties. To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.